Okay, already I have another question about After Effects. Uh, so, this is called Hot Text, I think. If it's called something else, please let me know. But the point of it is that you can, uh, you can click and move around to change the text. Oh, that's very nice. It's really convenient. Wow, that's just great. It's fantastic. Well, actually, it's not because it's not as good as Premiere's Hot Text. Check this out. If I click and I move, notice that when I let go, the cursor is back where it belongs. The only reason you can see where the cursor actually is is because of the green, see the green slash there? That's my own auto hotkey visualization thing. If I turn that off, come on, turn it off. What was it? Okay, turn it off. Now you don't know where my cursor is, right? The point is that I'm able to do whatever. I'm going to turn it back on here. And watch what happens when I hit the edge of the thing. Ooh. Sorry, I did the buttons. It automatically jumps back. Wow, amazing. Now there is one problem with this, which is if I go onto another screen, it actually does mess it up. So watch this. See, you notice the jump? because it's trying to jump across like a whole huge divide of pixels that exists at the edge. Internally, the system uh, logic is that like a, a t a, there's a, just a ton of pixels between here and the next screen and, and, and so on for the, for the other screens. But anyway, that, that's pretty much irrelevant right now. So it's really nice that it automatically warps you right back to the hot text in, in uh, <clears throat> in Premiere. That's one of the things that they did right. But again, in After Effects, we don't have that. What's the deal with that? The cursor just gets lost. And now, and, and even worse, if I hit the edge, I can't keep going. What if I want to keep going? I can't. What's the deal with that? So somebody please tell me if there is an option in here uh, something about hot text. I couldn't find anything. Uh, I don't think that the secret menu has it either. The secret preferences. I looked at that. Uh, it just seems crazy that that that's the way that it works. No, that's that's not so. Oh, and it still has the problem of the extra screens. But yeah, like I can't keep going. Um, also, check this out in Premiere. Some of you might not know this. Uh, I have additional scripts where if I just hold down F14, which is a button that you don't have because you don't have a Corsair K95 RGB, uh, and then it automatically will do stuff like this. How great is that, huh? Oh, I shouldn't have. <laughs> Let's grab this one, move it up to the left, make it bigger. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm messing with the, uh, by default, these are the uh, the uh, anchor point vertical and horizontal, although I could have buttons that just do the uh, position. But anyway, the point is that I can very easily control. And if I, oh, that's right, I usually use my mouse up here. So I'll move this around and then I'll do the scale. I'll move it around, scale, take this, move it around, scale. See how easy that is? Move it around, rotate. Yeah, you can do that with the... Oh, oh, it failed that time. Usually it's supposed to bring the cursor back over here. The point is, it's just super great. Um, After Effects does not have that functionality. And of course, neither does Premiere. This is a mod. Anyway, what I really want to know is, how the heck can I get the cursor to return to there for the hot text? That is all. Thank you. Bye.